President, that constitutes a quorum for today's budget hearing. Uh, first on the agenda, um, can I get the adoption of the agenda? Okay. Motion was made and seconded. All in favor, say aye. aye. All opposed, say nay. Motion carries. Um, we now open the floor to public comments. Anyone from the public? If there's none, we move on to the next item, which is the opening statement. Uh, good morning, members, and good morning uh, to the public. Um, before I begin, I'd like to introduce the members of the committee who are present with us today uh, on the council table. To my far left, uh, the audience, the audience is right. Representative Selena Babauta, Chair for JGO. Representative Danita Yankemai, the Chair for Commerce and Tourism and Cannabis. Representative Richard Lizama, the Chair for PUTC. Representative Christina Sablon, the Chair for Health and Welfare. Uh, Representative Edwin Probst, the Chair for Gaming. Uh, uh, joining me in the dais is uh, Representative uh, Karina Magofnia, and she's the Vice Chair of the Ways and Means. I am Donald Manglonia, the Chair for Ways and Means. Uh, assisting the committee are our legal counsel, Joe Tyrone, our legislative assistant, Cameron Nicholas, Sergeant Arms, P. Toy, um, and uh, IT, uh, Mr. Delbert, and our fiscal analyst, Mr. Thomas. And with that, uh, members, today we have the five remaining agencies uh, up for their budget hearing. We'll, we will be starting off with Department of Land and Natural Resources, followed by Community and Cultural Affairs. Um, so those will take place in the morning and then right after lunch at 1 p.m. we'll finish off with Public Works, followed by Public Safety, and lastly, DFEMS. Members, the first department up today is DLNR, and if you look at the budget proposal, it consists of five divisions. We have the Agriculture, Fish and Wildlife, Parks and Recreation, Soil and Water Conservation, and Land Registration. Um, apologies. Uh, joining the committee is uh, the Chair for Education, Ms. Representative Leila Staffler. Um, based on the department's submission, they requested for $1.4 million um, for operations and personnel. Unfortunately, the proposed budget came out to 745. And so that computes a shortfall of 683,000. Um, again, and I stated this yesterday that the the proposal is consistent with all other agencies where the governor had taken out all operational budget for all agencies. Um, the general fund proposal um, is similar to last fiscal or the current fiscal year uh, proposal where they funded the 80% and then the ARPA volume four funds the 20% as well as the 100% for those who were furloughed um, previously. And so with that, I would like to start off with first um, allowing the representative from the Department of Public, uh, Department of Land and Natural Resources to provide any opening remarks and additionally um, to share with the committee what are some of the challenges that they will face in regards to not receiving any operational funds and which are the uh, areas in the operations that would require the um, the funding in order to um, carry out its services. And so with that, I would like to hand the floor over to um, Department uh, DLNR. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And Vice Chair, good morning, and to the board of this uh, organization, good morning. And again, welcome to uh, Rhoda. 
Okay, um, unfortunately, our director couldn't make it this morning because, you know, have some health issues right now. He's at the hospital. So, please, you know, be, uh, do, you know, do better, you know. Okay, so, um, Sir Chairman, I uh, believe you guys have all our copy of uh, our narrative for our uh, department. So, I'm going to begin with the uh, agriculture and the administrative side. So, the administrative side, we have a total of four um, personnel. The extension service, we have a total of three. And the uh, forestry, we have two. And the equipment service, we have three uh, currently. And um, the vacant FTs for forestry, we have one. And the equipment services, we have one. Uh, those positions are there, but there's no funding for that. Uh, uh, position so the um division of agriculture comprised with a total of 12 ft position allocated to the following section four staff for the administrative office three staff for extension and that could mean two at forestry sir chair i'm gonna is there any uh, question for, uh, so far? We'll, we'll reserve questions. Maybe we uh, just go through each division and then uh, we'll. Okay. For uh, Division of Agriculture, travel, we have a um, total of uh, 15,000 for funding for travel, requests and support off island trainings, uh, staff development workshops, conference, as well as official meetings, networking, and division. Uh, division of five subunits, inclusive of the, the department heads and official business meetings. And for the equipment, uh, we're requesting 96,000. Um, 85,000 is requested for procurement of two four by four trucks for the agriculture extension service. Uh, currently, they don't have any uh, vehicle that, that will, will uh, in case there's uh, the tractor stuck somewhere, they don't have any vehicle to rescue that, uh, the tractor out there in the field. So currently they don't have anything. And the uh, forestry services who have replaced over 20 years old vehicle that have lived out the uh, useful life and instead of repair operating condition, the four by four pickup truck are required officially to access and render agriculture extension services as well as forestry section and farming community located solely the rough terrain and rural areas. For the uh, supplies, uh, we requested 10,000. So we're showing 16,000. And 10,000 is requested for fuel application for the agricultural program services rendered by all five sections under, under this division. The bulk of fuel, uh, fuel is very expensive. So the price equipment services section and consume huge amount of fuel for the farm tractors and machinery. Uh, 3,000 is for the office supplies covering five divisions and 3,010 is for operation supplies covering all five division sections. Contractual is 372 is very cost of procurement, advertisement and covering the entire department and division. 3,010 is for the communication cost in Inclusive one telephone line, one fax number associated with the internet connection and shorter by the division of, for the entire department to include the division of fish and wildlife. Uh, C business number 14 that's 22 and 1200 phrase for the shipping handling for farm equipment, parts, supplies, and for the regular pouches running from Saipan. 7,168 is to replace and renew current equipment and tools for the purpose of regular repair and maintenance, work on farm equipments and other small engine uh, equipments. And as you guys know, there's public auditor fee of 7,614, that's 1%. And total budget requested is 523,507. That's for the agriculture. Uh, Sir, chair.
Thank you, Councilman. Um, the, la, the for the current fiscal year, we approved the we approved fifteen FTEs. Is there a reason why the remaining, or I guess the three, wasn't filled? And like what I said earlier, the position is there, but there's no funding to fill that position. So um, I cannot really answer to that, uh, Mr. Chair. It wasn't there. No. Well, yeah, for the upcoming fiscal year, it's not there because it wasn't filled. But for the current fiscal year, you're saying that the funding is not there? Um, if, we, if you were to... From my, from my knowledge, excuse me, for, I'm surprised. From my knowledge... Uh, there is, I believe they're still there, but by September comes, they will end, that, uh, that, that FT will end by September, if I'm correct, right. is that right? Right, but uh, if, you had, if you filled it in the current fiscal year prior to the budget submission, it would have, they would have included it um, in the upcoming fiscal year, but if you're currently in the process of filling those positions and we, could protect that position for the next fiscal year. But because it wasn't filled currently, um, that's why they zeroed it out. But yeah. I don't know, if, is this something that DLNR was in the process of putting out the advertising this position or? Correct, correct, uh, sir, chairman, that's correct. But from the information that I received, uh, that's correct. Um, from what I know, that it's going to end by September. But if we feel that position that we're talking about, it's going to you know continue, and and they should put funding for that. Okay, and then fish and wildlife, you are requesting for. The current budget provides for five FDs, uh, the department requested seven, the uh, governor had approved six, so the one additional FD was uh, proposed by the governor, and what, what is the other FD that you are requesting for? Um, requesting for one more, I mean two more actually, uh, FDs for the uh, Fish and Wildlife. We're currently only five of us right now that uh, there are officers. So there's four officers and one inspector. So we're requesting for at least two more FTs if that's possible to give us for the division of Fish and Wildlife. We need more personnel. Sorry, so there's one current approved position for the conservation inspector one, and you're asking for what position title would that be? Um, where you enter the uh, division while law enforcement, we have this ranking system that goes. So you have to start with, uh, let's say, conservation technician, and then you work your way up. So we're looking at a conservation technician. I mean, a conservation yeah, technician. So you, and you then need, you will work his way you up. You need the one technician? Position? Yes. Can make that too, Mr. Chair, if we can. Thank you. So you're asking for, just to be clear, two conservation technician technician. Yes, Mr. Chair. And then Chair. you have the one vac current vacant inspector one. Yes, we're trying to fill that right now. <clears throat> so it will go like from inspector one. So it will go from a tech to an inspector one to an officer one? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, and so for parks and recs, you requested for four, you got four. For soil and water, you requested for two, but got one. What is this one additional? position that you the department's requesting for is that the um, soil and water soil and water hold on yeah currently we have only one for soil and water uh yeah the working. department's requesting two what would be the second uh okay, hold on, let me check on that. position
So we'll leave it on the water. Do you want to hear the tone one, right, uh, Mr. Chair? Yeah, you have one now. But under the budget submission, the department request, they were, the, the department was asking for two positions. Okay, I believe that's the, um, we have, because we have two, um, uh, MOU staff from the mayor's office, so we're trying to, you know, make them uh, become civil service for the department, and they will play a very good asset to the department because they've been there for you know a couple, you know so many years already. So, so you, that will be uh, you'll be secretary and, uh, and clerk in that position. Okay, and then. For the last division that I see here, the land registration, there were the department, the current fiscal year, your, the, the department was approved for three personnel. The de, for next fiscal year, the department is asking for those to, <clears throat> to continue funding the three, but for next fiscal year, the governor only approved two. What happened to that one FU? <laughs> For, is that that's for the um, land registration, right? Yeah. So, so that one would be um, one is severe three and severe training one. So total of two uh, for the land registration. And that falls under survey to uh, Mr. Chairman. Right. But you had three positions that were approved for the current fiscal year. Did that person resign and it's no longer yes there's actually two of them that uh one is i believe we restructured to uh procurement and the other one uh he took his retirement so that's okay. the two that, that so uh, left no the there. division yes okay. so we're left with uh, only two survey uh, survey uh, one and training okay. so uh, mr chair if i ask if we can you know Add another two FTs for the surveyor because you know it's kind of it's very hard. There's a lot of programs and uh, uh, job that you guys are required to do, and there's only two of them. What position? Well, currently, we have two: uh, one from the mayor's office and one from the municipal council, and we need to assist them right now. But if we can open a position for these individuals to uh, be permanently uh, uh, as a surveyor trainee, uh, that would be. Uh, a very big help for the division because it's hard for the two individuals. If one is sick, uh, the other one cannot operate. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. Uh, I just want to point for the or mention for the did members get a copy of their. Budget submission. Okay. All right. Um, I appreciate the 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 time that the department took to justify each one in regards to what the department is asking for. Um, members, if you take a look at the packet that TLNR provided, um, they did go as far as identifying each category and justifying their need for these they requ their request um, and so it's very detailed and this is something that I think would assist the, the committee in its deliberations and so with that I would like to um, just open up the floor to the members if they have any clarifying questions based on what was um, presented by Councilman Athelic or what was submitted in their packet. 
And so I open the floor to the members. I recognize Rep. Stafford. Thank you, Chairman, and nice to see you again, uh, Secretary Atalik. Um, <clears throat> so I just wondered how many cars does uh, the soil and water conservation have currently? None. They don't have anything right now. And is that the same for the land registry? They do not have a car? They don't have a vehicle right okay. now. Um, I'll say uh, the uh, surveyor, the cushioner, they fall under the same uh, division. They do have a truck right now, but uh, if they're en route to their to their um, their job site, it's always breakdown. So we need a reliable vehicle to you know for this case to provide a better service to our community. So right now, just handing me down vehicles, so it's, it's kind of hard to really rely on those trucks right now. And agriculture wants two. Yes, agriculture right now they don't have. Uh, anything at the substation right now. How old is the current vehicle that you were describing? Do you I call? think um, that truck is what is I am here. Oh, right wow. Now. Really? <laughs> yeah, but they're, they're really maybe 20, 30 years, 40. I, yeah. I don't know. But yeah. Okay. I do agree with Chairman that um, your detailed budget, Rhoda, you guys are awesome. You did, you've, you've done amazing budget. Uh, um, work here and making it very clear in what you need. I was just curious, what is a top con Sokia? Is that like a, a, a that thirty thousand dollar equipment under the land and survey? Oh, that's the um, this was one of the equipment that um, that required you know for them to perform their job, like to do their is that survey. The, the measuring. Yes, I'm not really you know yeah, familiar sure. okay. with that, but sure. I know that they need that equipment to do their survey. It was very spe specific in yes. what you guys needed. Yes. Noted. Um, and when I calculated all of the fuel, because I noticed uh, uh, Rep. Abata has been asking about the fuel, there was about $31,000 of fuel in total um, for all the departments together. And I wondered how many vehicles you have currently uh, with, you know, making that request of that much fuel. Um, and then in it, is this this number estimating as if you would also receive these cars? Um, or well, would there would there be a need for additional fuel if you if you did receive more cars? Yes, we um, really need fuel right now because you know the fi the fuel price in Rhode is so high. You know they may cut thousand dollars, but you go there and buy diesel, it's eleven dollars. So imagine how many gallons you need to, to fill that tractor to go out and service. So it's very costly. Yes. Um, all right. I just was asking clarifying questions. Thank you, Chairman. I yield. Thank you. Thank you. Recon uh, sorry, before we proceed, I'd like to recognize the presence of uh, like one of the committee members that just joined us, uh, Representative Joel Camacho. Uh, at this time, I recognize Rep. Selena Babalta. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning and welcome back, uh, Mr. Atalik. Uh, just you. one question. Uh, if we were to approve your budget this morning, not to give you any hope because we can't, but what is your top three on your wish list? My top three? First priority, we have to take care of our staff. We have to take care of them. Secondly, we have to make sure that... Of Promotions, raises, uh, what? Whatever, if they have their WGIs, we'll help them. You know, we have to make sure that we take care of our staff before we go out there and provide service. How long has it been since? Uh, from my understanding, there is a uh, WGI pending right now. Okay. Up in Saipan, I don't know, but, you know, this guys, every year you're, you know, you get your annual uh, evaluation, and based on your evaluation, you will be given your, your uh, WGI. Do you know the status of that? Now on, I have no answer for you, but maybe in July, I'll have an answer for that because I don't know right now where is it at. But I know it's up there in Saipan, so I don't know what happened. Where is it at? I don't know. But I know it's up there. I think there's five of them that, that needs to be uh, awarded with their WGIs, but hopefully they get their own WGIs sooner why, or later. Why wait till July? Um, I don't know. What's the status? Is there any budget for that? Uh, I don't know what's going on because they prepared it already and it's up there. So I don't know what happened. 
who's a budget issue. I don't know. But hopefully they can rectify it and give it to them because they deserve it. Fair enough. What's the other two? The other two is make sure that we have uh, fuel for our tractors, our vehicles, um, mainly because, you know, we have to um, uh, make sure that the, the, the tractor goes out and give the service to our local farmers. And that way they can provide uh, quality uh, produce that everyone loves, the kamuti, taro, inalulu, and name it, we have it here. So the second, that's the second loser, we have to make sure that we have the fuel and the equipment to go out there and service. So it would be personnel, personnel fuel, fuel, and tractor, equipment. And most especially, um, uh, number three is we have to make sure that we have our reliable vehicles. Well, okay. give the service right now. Okay, thank you. Fair enough. Uh, you. Thank you. Thank you, Rep. Babauta. I recognize Rep. Lazam. Thank you, Chairman. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good, good, good to see you this morning. Nice to see you too. To see you too. Um, recovery vehicles. So you have one equipment that go out to go out to the field. Is that what yes, you? we have one right now that's servicing discount service. Uh, the uh, John Deere fifty seventy five tractor. We have only one, and you have one recovery vehicle. Um, we don't have any vehicles to, to go and rescue this truck out there. They're using their own personal vehicles to go out there and rescue this truck in case it's stuck in the field or whatever. So that's why we're asking, you know, if they can, you know, give us and, and have these guys uh, equipped to go out there and, and rescue these trucks. Yes, sir. Uh, do you know if anyone in the island has the uh, recovery vehicle in case your vehicle uh, goes down? The other divisions, we can, you know, assist them. But if we're busy, we cannot. Take care of them. They have to have I their own equipment to I rest. I I yes. Well, that's the reason why I'm asking because if you really need on this question, oh, then yes. that's the reason why I'm asking this question. Um, well, I yield back, uh, Chairman. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you uh, Rep. Lizama. Uh, Councilman, in the current budget, Public Law 22 8, the com committee went as far as included a provision for funds that were appropriated to the first senatorial district. And one of the provision, uh, section 705C states, of the funds appropriated to business unit 1412 under operations, 285,000 shall be used to purchase a tractor and related tractor accessories. DLNR may use any remaining funds for other necessary vehicles or equipment. So I just wanted to find out what the status of this 285,000 uh, is and whether DLNR was able to procure a tractor and if there's any funds that were left after the purchase of a tractor. Okay, Mr. Chair, from my understanding, uh, I believe I have a little knowledge of that, uh, that funding that you were talking about. Um, I believe when the, the new system kicked in, the immunity system, um, they were not able to locate where's that funding at. Um, not until they showed the director the uh, that public law that you, you mentioned earlier. So many times. So by the time he he acknowledged that, I don't know what happened to the that appropriate uh, funding for for the tractor and other vehicles that you uh, mentioned, uh, Mr. Chair. So they did not purchase any tractor yet. Um, under as far as I know. I don't, I'm not too sure, but we have one, tra one tractor. I don't know which, if, if it's just, if that's the, the, the appropriate funding for that one that was used. So, but we have, we do have one brand new one right now, but I don't know about that funding. Okay. I know that the delegation assisted with procuring one tractor and then the request last budget hearing was to purchase an additional tractor and accessories. But if you're saying that the funds are not there, then you know, this is something we would have to follow up with OMB as well yeah. as Department of Finance. But um, okay, if yeah. by you know, yeah, if you're able to get clarification as well um, after we leave here, and please uh, share with the committee. And, yes, Mister uh, Chair, I will. Okay, I will thank you. Uh, for the first round, any other members? Uh, or recognize Rep. Yankdamai. Good morning, uh, Congresswoman. Do you have a revolving fund? 
Um, right now, there's currently there's two divisions that uh, are doing the revolving fund, which is the Fish and Wildlife and the uh, Extension Services. Fish and Wildlife, okay. okay. But nothing on land registration? No, they don't, okay. they don't have. Uh, Do you land. have equipment that, or computer that, um, what do you call that? Where you uh, register? All the lands and all the stuff. Yes. Uh, okay. The so survey, the surveyor is the one that is in charge of that one. He has everything right now, oh. online. Oh. So if you have, if you have question regarding land or everything, you just go to Mr. Roman Manglonia. He's the one that is in charge. Okay. That one. So it's up to date, no? You don't need. Yeah, and pretty much, it's up to date. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You, Thank you, Rep. Uh, recognize Rep. Selena Mabato. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, just one comment with respect to the lost funding for the tractor and vehicles. I remember the last fiscal year, we even uh, made accommodations to uh, Rhoda's budget and provided for pickup truck, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I want to encourage you to please uh, follow up with OMB as well, um, and this needs to be done right away, and Department of Finance, because we have four months until the end of the fiscal year, The those funds will lapse if you do not commit um, to, or at least getting a um, requisition or contract going mm -hmm. to purchase this, it will lapse, lapse into, um, and, and goes to a deficit reduction um, mode as with every fiscal year. Um, how much, uh, my question is, what is the balance in your revolving fund and what do you guys use the uh, revolving funds for? Okay, um, for the revolving fund, as far as we use it for the equipment, you know, some, you know, for just a small amount, like for wear and tear for our vehicles that we have right now. And for fish and wildlife, the same thing, we use it for fuel. And we see for breakdowns too. So repairs and maintenance space. Yes, yes, yes. Correct. Okay. Uh, how much do you guys uh, um, get in? I mean, uh, um, anticipate every year for this revol these two revolving funds. It depends on you know, like what? How many? How much do we make? Like yes, every year, yes. um, depends because right now it's an open season, so it depends how many people come in and, and get their own license. And at the same time, we go out there and we do enforcement, we cite these people, you know, they mm. come in and pay their, What's their penalties. The average per year? Um, Approximately. I would say the highest we went up, maybe like thousand. Wow, so that's just for much. it's just, yeah, okay. So Thank it depends. You. Are you, are you, Mr. Chairman? Thank you, Rep. Babalta. Any other member? Okay, um, thank you again, um, Councilman Athletic. As I mentioned earlier, um, if you need any assistance from the committee to to assist with the two hundred eighty-five thousand from last or from for the current fiscal year, uh, let us know what the, what you're able to find out about it, and we'll try to follow up on our end. Uh, and but. Before we excuse you, I believe you have an I have one more. Uh, yeah. Sure. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, as you all know that uh, our equipment, right? Every time equipment breaks down, it costs a lot of money. 30000 40000 just for the parts. So currently, um, the Department of uh, Natural Resources, if you're going to come and, and, and rent out a truck or get a service, it's only $12. So is there any way, any way that, that the gigs can step in and just pick up this is a, a fees because you really don't match the equipment that, that we have right now this is something that has to be done through amendment in the law or is it uh, yeah policy? under the title title 85 title 85 um sorry mr uh, chair but we're not saying to really just push it to the end where we're just going to charge these guys the, the high amount but just just a reasonable amount to charge them just for the wear and tear of the truck, for the tire, for the 
filter whatever you know this is 12 dollars per, $12, hour for yes, any, per any hour. government equipment um right now yes i think just the law is like the whole cinema so for rhoda or you know the entire cinema they can just pick it up maybe like 25 dollars or 20 dollars an hour right You're, an hour um at least it's a minimum just to cover this cost what percent of the the fees goes into your revolving fund account is it at a hundred percent or a, some a percentage a certain percentage that goes to general fund and then i believe it goes whatever goes we just goes to the general funds mr chair uh, me i'll get back to you now and okay ask. um yeah if you have a, a more specific proposal or even um i guess what Sorry, so you're proposing about somewhere around twenty dollars. Maybe twenty dollars reasonable price for you know per okay. hour at least. And you said this was what title eighty five? Title eighty five. Uh, so, uh, sub chapter eighty five. That's six zero point one. The farm equipment services regulations. Okay, we'll assist you. I know this is yeah. a one at, an administrative oh. provision, and so. Okay. Well. Go ahead. Uh, I'm not uh, asking for a big amount, but just a reasonable, Mr. Chair and uh, committee. Yeah, that's it. No, I'm not. I don't want to discourage the farmers not to go out and, and get the service that they need. You know. Oh no, no, yeah. But to just correlate with price. the cost of uh, yes repair and yes and the fuel itself to uh, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so again, thank you, Councilman Athlete, um, for representing the department here today. Please uh, extend our well wishes to the resident director, as well as uh, any additional information that was not shared today. Um, if you feel like uh, this is something that the committee should consider in deliberating, please reach out to any one of the members. And so again, uh, thank you for your yeah. time. And at this time, uh, you are now excused. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chair and Vice Chair and to the committee and the body of this organization. Thank you and welcome to Rhoda. And I hope you enjoy your short stay again. And we really want to see you guys back. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you. Members, at this time, um, we are moving right along schedule. So we will take a an eight-minute break. Short recess.
Uh, up next, we have the Department of Community and Cultural Affairs. And before us, we have the resident department, uh, resident director, Wayne Maritita. Um, and so members, if you look at the governor's budget proposal, there are two divisions under this uh, department. That is Historic Preservation Rota and Sports and Recreation. Um, they've submitted a budget request of 760000 and of this, the governor had proposed 374,186, both ARPA and general fund. That computes a shortfall of 393,837. The, under the HBO, they requested for five personnel. Uh, governor had only proposed three as well as sports and recreation they requested 15 but it was only um, given nine and so we just want to hear from the department what are these additional fds and how would they assist the department in providing its services and so before we dive into the specifics uh, i will now hand the floor over to the resident director to provide his remarks. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, good morning, sir, Mr. Chairman, and uh, Vice Chairwoman uh, uh, Welcome to LUTA, and uh, members of this August body, thank you for coming, and uh, thank you for affording us this opportunity to go over our, uh, rather maybe share a little bit, and uh, perhaps maybe um, seek the indulgence of this body to uh, include uh, some of the requests. Right now, I've made some adjustment, and you have before you uh, um, members and chairman you know, a copy of the short version of the budget. So, uh, for the record, my name is Dwayne Lizama Maritita, uh, and I'm the resident department head for the Department of Media and Cultural Affairs. And I thank you, Mr. Chairman, for actually summarizing uh, the budget as proposed by the governor. Um, what I'm grateful for with the, with the submission of the, the governor is that uh, he was able now to include the, the staff or rather the employees, which are, were fur furloughed, I think, um, a year ago, back to the general fund, which is that's actually the initial request that I had submitted uh, to include them back into um, the general fund. I'm grateful for that. Of course, it indicated the 20%, which is to cover the shortfall uh, on the ARPA. Again, the, I'm grateful for that. However, with, the, um, with lots of activities and programs and services that I am sure that all of you are aware of the intensity and actually the dynamics of the department, um, which uh, is responsible for serving uh, children all the way to and various other services to for the community. So um, with you, uh, in front of you, uh, members of this committee, I present the, uh, let's go back to, I mean, oh, actually we start off with the sports and recreation, uh, now called organization code 1204, or uh, previously uh, 1272, business unit 1272. So uh, um, I think you all the justification there. I feel free to go over it uh, during this session. Uh, I've also indicated the amount. And uh, actually, I wanted to request the indulgence of uh, the body. If you can, if not the five um, positions or rather FTEs that's requested, originally requested in the budget. So I've reassessed and reevaluated the, the that would necessitate the extra body. Uh, which I included actually the FTE for sports coordinator. Um, I included the FTE for zone aging, which is the, to provide an additional cook. At the moment, we only have one. And I could safely say that this individual or the employee is in the verge of retirement. So uh, that will leave us uh, crippled. Uh, we have not identified yet. However, we do have MOUs that the Office of the Mayor, which I'm grateful for, that has provided to 
support the kitchen lease at the office and aging. Uh, we had already bring or rather open the services, fully open the services at the center. And we have several, uh, I can safely say maybe three or four helpers uh, from the office of the mayor, the, or MOUs uh, for that matter, that have supported the operation at the kitchen. Uh, however, to ensure that we have continuity uh, for the coming years, um, I seek uh, a position to secure uh, a cook over at the office on aging. And lastly, uh, members of this August body, I like to order that uh, uh, the activities over at the youth center and as well as other uh, division of youth services activities had grown exponentially. And I can share with you some data that we have collected so far and thus far since fiscal year uh, 2021 and and starting this uh, fiscal year, October to last month. So a total of uh, 1,311 um, individuals that we had served uh, for fiscal year 2021 at the youth center, which, uh, and then uh, this October 2021 to present, we had already served 270 and counting. So therefore, the essentiality of the much needed staffing to be able to be designated over at the youth center is very important. And it, so that the duties uh, and responsibilities of the Division of Youth Services staff, which are caseworkers, and these are folks that merely has to dedicate and focus their energy to servicing our youth or children and families, respectively, you know, providing them services and coordinating any resources that is available to them, victims per se, uh, to be able to get back to their normal normalcy. So I, I ask this body to please include on your, on your budget or rather on your uh, list of uh, requests up to the Senate, um, a position for a community development trainee. As you uh, can see there in my submission, you have also the salaries. Uh, those are, I can safely say that our entry level salaries with fringe benefits. Um, I'm hoping to, you know, perhaps maybe if the following years or the coming years, if we do have or rebound it, I'm hoping to see them some uh, within grade increases also for this staff, for all, for all of our staff, for all of our employees who are doing a, a tremendous and a great job to the community. Uh, the operations, uh, as you can see, uh, members, uh, I have actually striked out the, for travel. Let's uh, start from the top. I, Supposedly, I was uh, I requested for thirty five thousand um, dollars. I extracted twenty thousand out of that. Reason being is that um, I do have another account or rather another activity that I have submitted also uh, uh, funding or requests for for travel. So, uh, in in essence, it's gonna we're gonna utilize both fundings to be able to support. The such requests, professional development, training seminars, uh, merely professional development enrichment uh, to be able to have our staff, you know, improve their skills and actually productively and efficiently work amongst each other, so, and also to provide the services for the island of Rhoda and the entire scenery. Um, I don't want to go in along the line, uh, Mr. Chairman. Um, uh, you have with you the, my submission, and if there's any other question there, um, I'm ready to answer. That's just specifically for the sports and recreation uh, organization code hall for for R. Uh, I think I explained myself well. I'm not sure if you guys understood, but I'm open and I'm ready to answer your questions. 
I'll move along and uh, maybe uh, you see the operations funding request which summarizes all the requests that I had. I am um, submitting to you, to uh, the members. So if I may, Mr. Chairman, I can move to operation, historic preservation operation code 1206 R. Or shall I stand by and... No, I, I think your, your justification is very detailed. Um, we'll just give the members a, a few minutes to go over of course. Um, what you have provided. Uh, and then if they need any clarification, I'll open the floor up to them to to look through. Okay. Um, yeah. So just to clarify for sports and recreation, you're seeking a total of three new FDs. Am I correct? That's, that's correct. That? That's correct. One uh, sports development coordinator, mm -hmm. one community development trainee, and one cook too. That's correct. Correct. Mr. And then for HBO, you're seeking one. 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 So, it's just so a total of four for the entire department. Yes. Sir. Okay. The personnel cost that you provided that's at a hundred percent. If it were to be funded by yes, the general fund, that's great. Under your contractual category, repair and maintenance at twenty four thousand. Mm -hmm. Can you just briefly um, explain the need for that sure. Sure, Mr. budget? Chairman. Yeah, I'll be happy to. Okay. For 24,000 uh, requests for repair and maintenance, um, initially we allocated um, uh, upon a you know, series of assessment and actually you no know, intensive you know, research. Uh, we find out that you know, parts, parts and labor for vehicles that we, we normally use on a daily basis for vehicles we do have, we do operate at least five, four vehicles at the moment. Uh, two of them are uh in the verge of uh being surveyed uh reason being is that uh um, as after the assessment that was done by public works we come to conclude that uh, it's going to cost us more to repair than it is to you know request for a new vehicle or or perhaps maybe uh, seek other resources necessary to for us to be able to adequately operate or and move on with our uh, projects uh, especially uh, out in the field so, um, as indicated, as stated here, um, we do have this sedan. We have two pickups, pickup trucks, and along with that, also we do have a, a Nissan uh, Rogue that we we use for uh, to provide services for child care development uh, fund program. Um, and we proactively anticipate that parts will actually rise. The cost of parts will, will definitely rise in the future. Uh, therefore, this is requested to purchase parts and replace you no know, anything that uh, will be considered unsafe uh, in the vehicle. The other $5,000 is to provide maintenance on our uh, sports facilities. Uh, I understand that uh, we did. We do have um, uh, some payroll uh, projects, um, but this is the, merely just to uh, subsidize all the rest that are not qualified for the federal projects, or or that was not included in the federal you know, the projects for works to be completed. Especially here at our ball field, uh, we do. It is. It's beyond our control, and um, when things are happening. Uh, it, Previously, we do have some uh, activities, and um, the field is uh, especially the fencing side. So, uh, but with that in mind, also we we continuously and at the beginning point in time in doing the game, we announced the um, that to you know just to play carefully and uh, uh, ensure that the safety of all players are adhered to. So, but, uh, again, um, just to do some touch up on repairs. That's why we need that five thousand dollars to actually uh, do some renovation also at the at the ball field and some of the sports facilities here that uh, under the care of the sports and recreation. Uh, Four thousand is requested to 
to replace the air conditioning units, um, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we are now down to at least one or two air conditioning units, and I'm, uh, I'm sheltering at least two, three, four, four division down at the main office at Leeds Housing. Um, I think, and again, let's go back to repair. Uh, um, the rising cost of repair and actually parts is is continues continues to grow. So essentially, I think it would be even more feasible if we do purchase a, a newer unit or new units to replace those old units. Some of them already, I think, have been procured, if I'm not mistaken, uh, back in 2015, 2015, 2016. Uh, this kind of equipments, they do, and all other equipments, are, they do have the wear and tear. Um, considering, again, the, um, the room, uh, the size of the room that was supposedly to accommodate um, a safe or rather conducive to air conditioning environment or rather coolness of uh, an office is, is really not uh, adequate to the ones that we have right now. So therefore, uh, this request may potentially reduce the, or rather no, you know, bring back or restore the conducive environment that uh, we used to have down there. And uh, maybe a majority of you don't know, but DCC had moved like multiple times since I got in. Since 2015, I think they moved like five times, five or maybe four times. So, uh, you know, with the movement there again, you know, it may, I'm not saying that uh, might be one of the factors that the, the units were, were really not functioning well. And lastly, Mr. Chairman, the $10,000 is requested uh, to assist the Office on Aging with the repair for their bathroom um, facility, their restrooms, rest, restroom facility stalls and uh, urinals and toil, uh, you know, sinks, fixtures, and everything else that uh, it's in the restroom facility. We did, uh, we did try to mitigate, uh, which is working. Uh, it's just a matter of you know, really is um, uh, really putting a lot of time and effort actually with the staff going in there really you know, doing constant cleanup on the the restroom seats. And I have advised and I actually noted that the safety is our priority for the Manamco. And as well as the staff, uh, they wouldn't be able to service our staff or our rather our Manamco if they themselves injure or injured. Okay, so I think that I'm not sure if the, that that suffices your question. No. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Um, how many total MOUs uh, does the department currently have? Okay. In general, uh, overall, uh, Mr. Chairman, you're talking about because I, I spread out throughout the divisions. Yeah. Looking at at least twenty. Twenty. Give MOUs. Take twenty. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm trying to understand. Which of your division utilizes the most MOUs? The Office of AG. AG? How many yeah. do you have at the AG? I think 12. Might be wrong, I'm sorry, but I, I don't have the correct, but I, I know initially, I think we had 12. Um, how many budgeted FTEs are FTEs. at the aging. Six. Six, but these are funded through Saipan? Uh, yes, sir. The Saipan six. Federal, except for one. One is budgeted under local. So we're looking at five. Five new staff out of Saipan. Okay. Thank you for clarifying. Uh, I now open the floor to the members. I recognize Rep. Staffler. Thank you, Chairman, and thank you so much for coming here today, um, R.D. Maratita. Thank you. Um, I 
appreciate all of the background you gave in, in uh, your presentation and the details in your, your budget uh, report here. Um, I think I was concerned about the um, maintenance of the air conditioning units. Mm. Are you, what kind of maintenance are you doing? Replacing like major parts like condensers or? Um, basically just uh, preventive maintenance. Okay. Um, so just uh, like the cleaning. Cleaning, cleaning okay. and uh, I think it, uh, about a month, a couple months ago, I think uh, we had actually an, I cannot say that uh, it's an actual new contractor, but uh, some of our just uh, close friends of ours that I had the opportunity to reach out and come over to the center and conduct those uh, preventive maintenance. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it is important. It, it's the environment, the working environment for our employees is Definitely. important and also the people they serve. Um, and so I, now understanding that, I think you that's a good enough number then. Um, I wondered about your parts of the budget and HPO sections. Um, help me understand the way that the objectives and goals are, are those in reference to the justification that um, is part of the HPO master plan or something? To, to which specific? No. Uh, well, I just see general? objective one and then goals, objective two, and then it jumps to objective six. So I wondered if there's a master plan that these objectives are addressed in the budget. I cannot necessarily say that it's a, it's, um, it's a master plan, but it's somewhat that we came about and we created uh, to ensure that you know we are aligned with the, the mission and the, the law. I, I like it. It, it helps um, in showing how your justifications also relate to the, you know, overarching goals of the agency. That. So I, I applaud your efforts. Thank you, ma'am. Um, I have not seen that in a budget yet. So, you know, I'm taking notes. Rhoda, you guys set a high standard, I must say. Um, I'll, I'll yield your, thank you, Chairman. Thank you. Thank you, Rep. Saffler. Uh, any other members? Okay, I think, Ardi Martita, I think your your packet pretty much explains every need um, the department uh, has and is requesting assistance for. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I really wanted to present to you and all to the members, uh, you know, a packet that you guys will understand where is the department coming from and the series of years already from the past few years and. Uh, it always has been deprived, I must say, that, you know, with all the activities that we're having. And I got numbers here to showcase, to, or rather to share with you, in terms of historic preservation um, alone that we have provided. Um, and we continue to do so. Like I said, it, our site tour activities had grown exponentially in a couple of years. So you know, that's basically a presentation as well. We became so popular. Uh, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to brag, but oh, we became so popular that um, we have network to so many people, uh, even outside the uh, outside the, the realm of Rhoda. And we provided so many services to schools as well, and they've been reaching out, you know, left to right. Uh, we're we're glad that it's summer, and we're just taking a break, a short break. I told the the team here that let's not be complacent. And we will continue to service our people, especially our youth. Um, if I may, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to really, I want to share a, a do, um, data to you guys about the, our sure. services. So uh, for, the past, for the past year, fiscal year 2021, we have received and completed uh, one start applications, 35. Uh, we have issued clearances, um, uh, 10 clearances. clearances Project surveyed, we got 30. Project monitored up to today, up to today is two. We have uh, received, or rather, 
visitors had visited the office 374. We have conducted site tours of about 34 sites, 34 rather, you know, different sites, but it's 34 for every, you know, let's say a site tour today, we took them to Motsongan. That's one. Yeah, so, yeah, I think I think that's the, the data that they have collected. So at every given time, they conducted site tour. It's 34. Uh, we conducted class, class presentation of about six, three at a high school and three at a elementary. And of course, uh, we continue to maintain our sites here, our historic sites and uh, some of our sites also that are not registered under the national registry. We continue to do so. So we have like about 20. Uh, half of that is natural, na national registered sites. And since October of last year, fiscal year, until March, uh, again, our visitors, our visitors is at 242. So uh, we did site tours of about 12, and still growing, like I said. So, uh, in essence, uh, Mr. Chairman, that's the beauty of uh, DCC, and uh, I enjoyed working here, and I will continue to do so if given the opportunity. Rather, I have already established like a relationship with this department. And I feel that I'm, it's my second home. Thank you so much for your time. And thank you, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Vice Chairman. Thank you so much for coming. Enjoy your stay. Uh, thank you, Arding. I think, sorry, we have one oh. more. Uh, sorry about that. Th oh. Thank you um, for uh, Ardi Baratita. I, your, your discussion of all the historic preservation activities uh, made me want to also ask about the, like, what is the status of the, um, the National Park Service, you know, the proposal to designate a, a national park here. That, um, could you give us an update on wow. that? And, and do you actually get any federal grants for historic preservation? Y yes, now? I did. Okay. Uh, Okay, but uh, let's go start with the uh, park services. I'm sorry, and I apologize. I don't have that information to, uh, right now. Um, I and I'm, I'm pretty sure that all of you have heard about it. Is the was it the study something? I have not getting. I have not gotten any new update uh, as you speak. I think uh, the Indigenous Affairs Office is uh, communicating directly with NPS uh, with regards to that issue, which is the World of Resource Study something. So uh, I, I do apologize, no Congresswoman, I don't have that <laughs> update. Uh, um, I'd like to share also with the, with the members of this committee that uh, yes, I did, I um, uh, was able to uh, submit a proposal for a grant of 101,613, I believe. That's back in 2020, and it was approved. Uh, during that time, I, we were awarded uh, the World Historic, World Historic Historical sites maintenance and improvement project. I believe it's uh, funded through the office of uh, uh, Department of Interior Office of uh, uh, Insular Affairs uh, tap grant. And uh, to date, uh, we have already expended half of that, and we continue to do so. Uh, we are still uh, this, the resources here on road is very limited. Uh, 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 then Munis came in. <laughs> pandemic hit and the immunis came in. So a lot of this stuff was some of the slippages and the obstacles that we are experiencing right now. We continue to reach out to SAPAN office, the OGM, Office of Advanced Management, to ensure that we are aligned and uh, we are in the same boat and we continue to, to uh, you know, uh, move on with the projects. Uh, as we speak right now, uh, members of this committee, if you do have time, we do, we actually, had our un unveiling ceremony, which is uh, back in April, and we have uh, you, we have placed the signage over at Taga Stone Quarry. So please feel free to swing by and take a look at the signage. Those are one of the projects, and we are anticipating uh, fencing for that area in the next few months. We have placed also uh, signages down in Motsum and down in Pictograph. So if you guys have time. Please communicate to my office, and uh, I'll be more than happy to uh, have my staff uh, take you for a tour. Thank you. Yeah. Rep. Sablon, you. Thank you. Uh, yes, members, please um, 
That's an open invitation, so that means you can go back. <laughs> so I can your, start calling on your travel German? justification. Just put a verbal uh, invitation by <laughs> President Director Maritita. Uh, yes, he the, his department is in charge of uh, the tours for the pictograph, which I I know some of you guys have been wanting to to see that. Uh, okay. And so, please okay. reach out to his office. They also have a an art display at their office I down appreciate in appreciate uh, that Izu. thank you mr chairman i forgot about that yes, yes thank you uh, yeah we uh and the first ever if i may say it's the first ever uh, arts gallery in the cinema okay. in rota so are anything uh, there for sale or <laughs> uh, i do believe yes yes uh, just those four pieces to an uh, arts and crafts no Mr. Chairman, and yeah. you guys are free and welcome to come down. It's uh, um, down south in Songsung Village, Lizu. The old high school. The old Rota High, Rota high school. school. Yeah, that's yeah. the main office. So you can spend your money there. Okay, thank you for that, Mr. Yeah. I am so sorry. Uh, I did, there's no machine over there. <laughs> uh, so basically, the art gallery is there to, uh, you know, somewhat, you know, assist artist market there their products and their you know yeah their... um rd i think you know that was one of the the things that was brought up during the deliberation last or for the current budget that you know many departments fail to um i guess practice and that is that a percentage of their budget for furniture should be used to purchase uh, local crafts and so you know we hope that uh, there are these offices uh, each of their offices uh, utilizes right. their budget to purchase um crafts and yes uh, correct I uh, think it's 14 that's 80 yeah six so, something I'm and sure. you know I read about that so yeah and so I know you've assisted um, groups that would sell their products on Saipan and so yes um, these guys if they need assistance to reach out to you to reach okay. out to those uh artists and i really appreciate practitioners yeah. and yeah. also yeah share you know once you go back uh, let them know that you know we have all those items also and all uh, we, we do have artists though, coming in and dropping off their you know the crafts and it's uh for sale so normally we don't keep any money there and as soon as yeah. we get them and we call the artists to pick it up okay thank yeah. you Thank you so much. Uh, and so with that, if there are any questions we have pertaining to the packet that you provided us, we'll reach out to your office. Of course. Uh, we do have until July 1st to um, kind of finalize okay. what we've heard during the budget process as well as um, wait on the revised budget submission. And if there's any significant changes to that uh, to the current proposal, We'll reach out to your office. Thank you, uh, Thank you for that. Further Chairman. clarification. I can actually give you my personal cell phone number. Too. Uh, maybe when you go on yeah. recess, and <laughs> if, uh, you want the whole uh, cinema <laughs> that are watching. That, that are is live. absolutely correct. I mean, yeah. They might, uh, <laughs> I use that information for now until yeah. recess. Uh, thank you. Thank you for wanting to share that. And so, with that, members, uh, we will recess until one o'clock. Um, and so again, thank you, Artie Martita. Thank you so much. Thank you, committee, and thank you. Enjoy your stay here, Rona. Short recess.